last year, I thought we need somebody to step up, and that was Kese. games in a row where he scored over 20 points. Five straight games of 20 or more for Kese Tominaga. People know Kese is a shooter, but some of the more impressive things I thought that he did during that stretch was his finishing ability at the rim. He was a big reason why we finished that last month with the best record in the Big Ten. At the end of the season last year, I had more confidence to shoot the ball. But I still gotta get, you know, better at all those things, so I just gotta keep doing, you know, to get better every day. Number three, Casey Tonaga. Last year at Casey's senior night, I think a lot of people, including myself, kinda thought that he was gonna go to Japan to play professionally or to the NBA. Yeah, so I was trying to get into the NBA, you know, like, uh, so I uh, walk out with the Pacers, Indiana Pacers. They were really impressed. He didn't back down from anybody. From a physicality standpoint, when you just look at him and the guys that they had in there, the way that he competed, I think, really opened their eyes and said if he comes back and has a really consistent year, he could be somebody that teams would look at. I decide to, you know, come back to here and, you know, try to improve more stuff. Tommy Naga for the lead! He announced he was coming back and hopefully have an entire season like he finished off a year ago. And that's going to open up a lot of doors for Kese and it's going to give him a lot of options. I think the biggest improvement with Kese is with his body. We put him in the weight room. He was really focusing on gaining weight and becoming stronger. It's actually paying off this year. Tommy Naga plays He was really skinny in the high school. He's now stronger. Physicality level is totally different, but shooting is the same thing. <laughs> he, he always shoot and make buckets. He's on everybody's radar now, where I don't think he was going into last season. I promise you this, when teams scout us, he's the number one guy they're trying to figure out. Whether he's making shots or not, he has so much attention drawn to him and that opens up things for everybody else. When Kese came into my office and told me that he was coming back, he wanted to be a part of this going forward and hopefully take this program to where it's never been before. And for the first time in 41 years, Nebraska knocks off the top ranked team in the country. What madness! <laughs> It's remarkable how much of a following Kese has. Obviously in his home country, uh, you know, I think he's hero status there. Kese now became very popular. One of the faces of Japan. His career is a little strange. He once was a high school fellow, but after that, he moved to America, so people really don't know how good he is. Tomei Naga, the crossover, and the finish! And people can't watch him making buckets after buckets. Now, the news in Japan, we watch uh, cases performance in Nebraska, how can I say, uh, the vision in the train, Casey's performance I can see on the TV, on the train, so <laughs> we are so proud of him. Every time I go back to Japan, you know, people recognize me, it's kind of crazy. Trying to take a picture with me, you know, like people are like, it's like, it's like a crazy feeling, you know, it's cool, you know. How many people in Japan knew what Nebraska was before Kase came? <laughs> Nebraska. So, uh, so few people know that. 
to see all the Japanese media that comes here now. I've done more interviews with Japanese stations, I think, than I ever would have <laughs> imagined. That is crazy, you know, it's far away from Japan, and they still, like, you know, for, like, trying to, you know, follow me around. Good job, I'm going to over, tilt it, throw it in, and then it's the same thing we don't have. There's no other guy that's getting random people to come in and watch practice other than Keisei, and the fact that they're coming from a 20-hour flight is just insane. This time I travel with his family. It's super nice, you know, it's always nice to, you know, spending time with my family. I show around the, you know, town that I'm, I'm living like for three years, you know. When you see Keisei, you do not expect his father to look like that, and he is a huge human being. So, I was a center. I think his parents really appreciate the support that Kese has gotten since he's been here. It's hard when you send your kid to a completely foreign country, especially in Kese's. He, he didn't speak a word of English when he got over here. <laughs> Kese, he will continue to make his parents and his home country proud. <laughs>